Baltimore City officials today outlined their options to get the Charm City Circulator bus service on a more efficient road. It's now five years old. The service is very popular, but it is also costly. 11 News I-Team lead investigative reporter Jane Miller lists what is on the table. She joins us live here in the studio. Jane. Well, Donna, the election of Larry Hogan as governor might add new fuel to the idea of expanding the city's circulator service. He is not a fan of the Red Line Rail Project. He might be more inclined to support a much lower cost bus service, but that's down the road. For now, the challenge is how to get the circulator in a better position to pay for itself. On one point about the city's circulator bus service, there is no argument. We recognize and realize that this is a very, very a popular program. 13,000 people a day use the service. Businesses cite it as a reason to locate in the city. Communities that don't have it want it. But here's the bad news. Since its start in 2009, it's run an $11.6 million deficit. And without changes, that'll climb to a $73 million deficit by 2024. So to make the system more efficient, the city is considering options. Among them, eliminate the least used line called the Banner Route to Fort McHenry. Increase the time between buses from 10 minutes to 15. Reduce the number of buses operating on a line and impose a fee to ride. The service is now free and the mayor says her goal is to keep it that way. I believe a fee in particular has the capacity to do more harm than good. One purpose of the circulator is to do what the MTA bus system doesn't do. The bus system that they, that they operate isn't really designed to move people around efficiently within the downtown corridor. And while tourists like the service, most people who ride, 85% are city residents. The parking tax pays part of the circulator's cost. Another option is to raise that from 20% to 22%. The most used line is the purple route, which runs north-south, and it does remain on schedule to expand next year. Reporting live tonight in studio, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News. All right, Jane, thank you. Meanwhile